Hello and welcome back to HLS Crypto. So today's video is how much will 10,000 Jasmine be worth by 2025? Don't miss out. So Jasmine is being called the Japanese Bitcoin, although its use cases are very different. Bitcoin is a store of value for cash and, uh, you know, assets, stuff like that. Jasmine is a store of value for your data. Uh, it's going to perform very well in the bull run for me, I believe. And it's Japan's first regulated crypto since Japan have started to relax the rules regarding crypto investing. Jasmine is a project that I'm in. I do hold Jasmine. Let's take a look at the project and then we'll get into some price predictions. So first, I want to check this bit out here. This is a part of their website. It is uh, translated. So it is. So it may not flow quite like a, a, an English written piece would, uh, because obviously when you translate things, some things don't t tend to go across perfectly in translation. Uh, I'm just going to move myself slightly further out the way if I can. Yeah, there we go. So the big wave of the fourth industrial revolution. Now that the big wave of the fourth industrial revolution has begun to swallow the world, all kinds of things, people and services are connected by the internet and it continues to expand into all areas of our lives. From this big wave, new things and services such as the sharing economy, such as car dispatch services, self-driving and robotic industries that make full use of AI and unmanned convenience stores that realize set settlementless payments, payment are born. Now, I don't really like these unmanned convenience stores. I think they're a bad idea for humanity. I think it's better, you know, that, that, that people have jobs and, uh, and are able to, to provide for their families. I think the more that we go down that route, you know, the less convenience stores, you know, I mean, here, Tesco's, imagine Walmart in America, places like that, you know, you need the staff. I, I just think it's it's a bit of a shame that we're going to go unmanned. Uh, platform operators who monopolize information. So many of the current network services are provided by giant companies such as Google, Apple, Facebook, Amazon. Uh, we give platformers personal data such as action history that should be owned by us instead of using the service for free. Based on this, large amounts of data exchanged from service points of contact such as communication networks and applications are exclusively collected, managed and analyzed by the platform's centralized system and used for various purposes. Who owns our data? The data that we believe should be managed safely has been leaked, even though it's fragile due to cyber attacks, system defects and human mismanagement. In addition, behind the service, the data tracked, collected and analyzed from the behavior of the network is misused to deliver and advertise and clever content that lead to unwanted websites to do the fast growing giant platformers. I've come to a dead end and are approaching a major turning point. Like I said, it, it doesn't flow particularly well, but this bit here, our basic idea. So this is the data democracy. Our basic philosophy is to return personal data into the hands of individuals who should have it and to realize democrat democratization of data, in which is managed in a secure and distributed manner based on the philosophy the Jasmine Internet of Things platform will be developed based on a solid relationship of trust between companies and customers on the platform will create an environment where data can be exchanged securely as valuable data, creating a new era of information, the new era of user user orientated information. I'll go, um, I'm not sure why all goes in there, but we are confident that we'll be able to create a new internet of things business model together with everyone based on this platform and help Japan lead the world again in the new information age. Now, so the internet of things um, is Basically, nearly everything will have will be connected to this network. You know, you're probably seeing it uh, when people are talking about smart cities and things like that. It's basically your toaster could tell your fridge that you're, you know, you're wanting some bread to make some toast. Your fridge might want to send you a text to say, oh, by the way, you know, you're running low on milk. Things like that, you know, I, I, it's going to be crazy. The internet of things is probably going to be a thing. I think that it will definitely take off, uh, whether I'm particularly love that idea uh, well i don't love that idea but that's it is what it is and things are moving on so here is jasmine on their official website decentralized data democracy uh, if we scroll through here you'll see that build as japanese bitcoin as japan's bitcoin jasmine is a tokenized platform that champions the democratization of data by combining blockchain and internet of things technology to provide an infrastructure that allows anyone to use data safely and securely Jasmine aims to regain data sovereignty for all. With the innovative use of blockchain technology, we can create a decentralized and more democratic use of data where you'll be able to store and control your data in a safe and secure manner, safe, safely and securely manage and control your own devices and provide safe and secure use of your data under clear rules. So they're going to have these uh, like data lockers, essentially, where you can ha store your data in there. When companies, big companies such as, you know, like, 
Google and things like that, who basically rely on collecting as much data as you can, these big companies, and then they sell your data essentially. So it's about taking that back and then you'll have the ability to sell your data to companies and get paid in Jasmine. Um, I think it's a great idea. I think that that is a good idea. I think it's good to be able to hold some sovereignty over your own data. Um, what will probably happen is you would need for Jasmine to really, really spike high. You'd need them to probably get a deal with one of these search engines because um, like Google or Bing or something like that, that would, I think that would probably really help Jasmine. Um, but there's, there's no news uh, as far as I'm aware of that yet. Uh, let's look at the chart briefly. So uh, the title of the video, obviously 10,000 Jasmine at the minute is about $35. Uh, the chart for the 24 hour period, you know, it looks like a lot of others. The chart for the all time uh, looks a bit worse. Uh, it just looks flat. It does look dead. I don't believe it's a dead project, though. I do think it's going to go uh, really well. I, I've, I've got faith in Jasmine. What I do also like about Jasmine is this. Uh, Jasmine was founded in April 2016 in Tokyo by several formal Sony executives. I'm a big Sony fan. I've, you know, I've got Sony telly. I've got a Sony soundbar. Uh, I'm not a gamer anymore. But I've had like nearly well. I've had all the Playstations from one to four. I haven't had. I haven't got five because, like I say, I, I don't game anymore, and it's probably a. It'll just be a very nice looking ornament. Um, but yeah, so they've been. They've, they were founded by uh, Kunitaki Ando, representative director of Jasmine and former president and COO of Sony Corporation. Kazumasa Sato, president and COO at Jasmine and former CEO of SonyStyle.com, uh, Japan Inc. Uh, and Manasanobu Yoshida. Um, Deputy President and CTO at Jasmine. Did I butcher their names that badly? I think I did all right. You know, I, don't, I think that them pronunciations were pretty good. But feel free, if you are from Japan or if you've got great Japanese pronunciation, then please put it in the comments and let me know how I did there. Um, so back to the, the video. Uh, other reasons to be bullish for me uh, are token lockups. So in quarter one, potentially quarter, uh, in quarter four, but potentially quarter one, because I think it was, was it Crypto John, I think mentioned that Japan's quarter four might actually be their quarter one. Um, maybe someone in the comments can confirm that. Uh, but the, the, the belief is there's going to be a big token lockup. Some are saying as high as 35 billion tokens, which obviously would, would really help, I think. Japan might be changing the capital gains tax laws as well. So although I needed to do a bit of a deeper dive into this, but if anyone is from Japan is watching this video, um, Comment below what impact you think that will have, because that's quite interesting. As far as price predictions go, I think Jasmine gets to 10 cents without too many problems. Could push as high as 25 cents if we get a lot of hype behind the project. Um, I think that's reasonable. So if you had, if you bought 10,000 Jasmine today, it'd cost around $35. If it hits 10 cents, then it would become $1,000, which is around a 29x. Uh, if it hit 25 cents, then you would make $2,500, which to be fair is great from a $35 investment. But can you buy more? Can you take your Jasmine bag to 100,000 Jasmine? Maybe, you know, half a million Jasmine? You know, I mean, I think a million Jasmine would be a great a great position to be in. I'm not there yet. I've not hit a million Jasmine yet, but it's something that I'm looking at as to be my, my target to um, accumulate. Will Jasmine hit a dollar? I think that's the burning question that everyone kind of wants to know the answer to. Uh, I think this will depend on the lockups, as we mentioned before. If Jasmine becomes more scarce than it could, uh, let's take a look at a comparison, which we'll do now. But I'm not saying it can't hit a dollar. I find it to be extremely unlikely for it to hit a dollar. Um, but anything can happen in crypto. But I don't think a dollar is really on the cards for it. Uh, if we look at the Jasmine versus Quant uh, in terms of market cap, to reach 10.9 cents, that's maybe just slightly under 11 cents there, then Jasmine would need to hit Quant's all-time market cap high market cap of 5,000, uh, 5,000, 5.2 um, billion dollars. For it to hit a dollar, I think probably the closest comparison to that price wise would probably be polka dot. So for it to hit a dollar, you'd probably need to get, yeah, so just, just above that. So that's like a 333x, we want it just below. So a dollar for Jasmine would need to be around a $50 billion market cap. Closest comparison in terms of what I can find there for price would be around about dots all time high. Uh, can it happen? Well, I can't see why it, why it can't. Uh, but I think that's very optimistic. I think maybe the the next bull run along you'll see a very big Jasmine price. But right now, 
Uh, I would say 10 cents is a good place. Uh, maybe start taking profits from 7 cents to 8 cents would be the way to go. Uh, but that's all for today. I hope you, uh, if you are a Jasmine holder, by the way, as well, let me know what, you, what you're uh, bullish on about the project uh, in the comments. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, can you smash the like button? That really helps out. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, thank you to everyone who's done that so far. We're now rapidly approaching 300. Um, I hope you have a great day. Uh, and as always, take care and we'll see you.